Have you ever had a frenemy? Someone who you love so much one day, but the next day you can't stand them? A friend that you get along with great and you spend all this time together, but you also fight constantly? I've had frenemies in my life, but what causes a relationship to go from a friendship to a frenemyship? Well, I think the foundational issue that we experience when we have a frenemy is that we don't understand what it means to truly love somebody. In friendships, we can get caught up loving ourselves more than we love the other person. Paul talks about the kind of love that we should have in Romans chapter 12, verses 9 and 10. He says this, Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. In essence, what Paul is saying is this. Your acts of affection, your love for somebody else must be honest and authentic. It must be real. In the way of Jesus, there is no room for us to be fake in the way that we show our affection for other people. That means if we smile at them in public, we shouldn't offer them snide comments in private. That means if we greet them with a huge hug at church, we shouldn't hurl insults at them over text. Real love means caring about another person and honoring another person no matter the circumstance, no matter how difficult it is, whether or not you're getting something out of it. And Paul tells us we should be horrified by the evil of not truly loving another person and that instead we should hold fast or cling to things that are good, things that are helpful, things that are pleasant. And we know that this kind of love comes from the Spirit. Jesus demonstrated this kind of love when he came to the earth. The earth is broken and full of sin. And Jesus came proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, that he is Lord over all things. However, Jesus was rejected by his own people. But rather than talk badly about these people, Jesus laid down his life to secure their forgiveness and freedom. So for those of us who have put our faith in Jesus, we now have a responsibility by the power of the Holy Spirit to express that same kind of love to the people around us. Love that seeks good and honors other people. Love that is humble. Love that is kind. Love that is forgiving giving, love that does not keep a record of faults, love that is selfless. So today, as maybe you're thinking about somebody who's a frenemy in your life, consider how loving them the way Jesus has loved us might change that frenemy into a friend.